um, up until my mid twenties, I I really didn't have any plans what to do. And then um, a girlfriend at the time was an exchange student from Hong Kong, and constantly going to a bookshop on Saturdays. And as the boyfriend, I would go to the bookshop with her. But being really bored, I would just wander around the bookshop, waiting for her while she's reading. And I would, um, on a particular occasion, I accidentally wandered into the art department. I pulled out two random books, one by a British photographer called Chris Killip, and the other one by um, an East European photographer, Joseph Kodelka. And I just felt that when I looked at these two books, I felt I could read the photographs. Um, they didn't have a lot of text, but I just felt that when I looked at each image, I was able to interpret it and to read it. And from that moment, I just realized that this was something that I could possibly pursue. Well, I, I, what, I, what I like to do with photography is to present it as a problem, actually. I really wanted to use photography as a way to impose questions, whatever the question may be. And so today I am really um, making a problem, problematizing the documentary tradition. And I often, uh, often use archive material to do that, whether it's uh, an institutional archive or whether it's, a, it's, it's an archive that belonged to an individual often that would be the starting point. So it could be, it could be a snapshot belonging to someone in a, in a country that is then shared with me and there are stories surrounding that picture and then I would create some kind of a fictional project around that image or that archive. So as an artist, there is this notion of flexibility and freedom to, to explore and to experiment. Once I started pursuing photography, I then also expanded that practice by working in video and other media as well. Despite my practice coming from a documentary tradition, um, I, find it, I find it of interest that the practice can have a relationship to other art forms, such as installation, sculpture, other ways of other ways of making things.